Yo, what's going on everybody? So today I want to have another conversation with you guys about more of the information that we got in the Boruto manga chapter and kind of go over one of the popular theories that is popping up as a result of this chapter, which is who exactly Kaguya's partner was. And right now there appear to be two candidates, but before I say that, I definitely got to talk to the anime only viewers for a second. So if you guys are not caught up on the Boruto manga, if you're someone who's only watching the anime, I would highly recommend that you click off of this video over 60% of the content on this channel is completely spoiler free so there's other content for you to enjoy but what I will say is because of how intense things are getting in the Boruto manga right now I would highly recommend that you guys at least consider checking out the manga plus app for $1.99 a month you guys can get access to all 35 chapters of Boruto as well as all 700 and 710 if you count Naruto Gaiden all the chapters of naruto for $1.99 a month so with that being said if you're still here I'm assuming you're okay with spoilers. So as a result of this new Boruto chapter, after Sasuke stumbles across all these holograms of all the different Asusuke clan members who have come to Earth as well as have been traveling in pairs, all of a sudden we know that okay, they kind of operate like the Akatsuki where one member is... I guess like a leader and the other member is a subordinate whereas with the Akatsuki they were viewed as equals but still they moved in pairs and when you think about it it does make a lot of sense that they did operate in this fashion and it would explain where Zetsu would have got the idea from. The reason why I say Zetsu is Obito was taking a lot of his uh, information from Zetsu because Zetsu was there with Madara and so Obito would likely be susceptible to some of the information that Zetsu was saying especially when you look at the fact that Zetsu could basically tell him like yeah you know Madara always said that this would be the plan even though this would be something that he would be getting more of the information from Kaguya now the other reason why I kind of bring that up is if you really think about it the Akatsuki could have gotten that uh, inspiration to use two members, two two team cells from whatever Kage was doing as a member of the Susi clan. So I do think that that is a good a good way to kind of tie into what we got in the early parts of Naruto and what happens in Naruto Shippuden where the Akatsuki are a really, really big deal. So when you look at that, and you look at the fact that Kaguya was shown and then the next person ends up being Jigen and if we go with the theory that Jigen is actually a Suski, I would say this, I don't think that that's necessarily something completely out the realm of possibility. And the reason why I'm gonna say this, the reason I'm gonna say this is when you look at the different pairings that we've seen for members of the Suski clan, when you look at them, there's always been one member who's had the Renegon. The other member didn't have a Renegon. So when you look at Momoshiki, Momoshiki had a Renegon. Kinshiki didn't have a Renegon. Kaguya has a Renegon. The person that shows up that looks like Jigen or might actually be Jigen doesn't have a Renegon. So we're seeing a pattern there. And when you look at a closer observation of the latest Boruto chapter, when you look at that, there's even more proof of this. So let's just look at the murals that we saw in the Boruto manga. So if you'll go back to that panel and for obvious reasons, I can actually put the panels up on the screen because of everything going on with YouTube right now. And because YouTube doesn't do a good job with fair use. And because I've dealt with copyright strikes with Shueisha in the past, I'm not going to put the manga panel up so I'm going to encourage you however you read the Boruto manga go to the uh, manga chapter and go to the manga page where you see Sasuke when he's looking at the different murals so let's look at it from this perspective so the very top one if you look at it it has the Asusuke horn and when you look at the other part of it it also has part of it that looks like it has a Renegon now this is the other thing too okay when you look at this part one has a Renegon and then the bottom one doesn't have a Renegon God. So with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and address the second part. So a lot of people believe that Urashiki might actually be Kaguya's partner. And I'll be real with you guys. When I first read the chapter, I did entertain the possibility. But this was only more so because of the fact that Masashi Kishimoto did create the design for Urashiki. And he and Kodachi, when they wrote the Boruto movie, did come up with a role for Urashiki and had bigger plans for him. 
and even with the anime adaptation, they adapted a lot of the stuff that they wanted to do for that movie, but there was still some stuff that was left on the table. And so when you consider all that information, I do think that it is possible that Urashiki is one of those murals, but here's the thing. We know that there are six. Two of them are completely destroyed. So unless they're trying to say that Urashiki is destroyed, I don't think that Urashiki is one of them. I think that if you take that stance, if you take that stance, the only other way that you could say that Urashiki could be one of them is if you say, okay, these six are always for people, Osutsuki, who have come to Earth. So Momoshiki, Rinnegan, Kinshiki, no Rinnegan. Kaguya, Rinnegan, Jigen, no Rinnegan. Urashiki, Rinnegan, Teneri, no Rinnegan. So, I mean, you could make it work if you do that, but, you know, like my boy Bar B was talking about in his uh, chapter review, Teneri and uh, Urashiki, they don't get along. Teneri and Urashiki don't get along. That's not something that you could say they're partners unless it's just, you know, you just stick them together like oil and water and it's just something kind of happened. Clan leader said that they don't have any say so, but I'll say this, I'll, I'll say this. Part of the reason why I don't think that Urashiki is meant to be one of those uh, one of those murals, part of the reason why I say that is I don't think that he owes that, that high rank. And the reason why I say that is look at it from this perspective. So every time he referred to Momoshiki, he always referred to him as his superior. It was always Momoshiki's son or he would call him uh, Boss Momoshiki, what, whatever the anime called it. But here's, here's what's crazy about that. It's showing right there that he's something special. And it's the same thing with Kaguya. It's the same thing. We know that Kaguya was entrusted with them and that she had to report back to the clan leader. So when you start taking all that in consideration, I think that if you had to look at it from ninja ranks, if the clan leaders Hokage, then Kage and Momoshiki would probably, and Kinshiki and whatever Jigen is, if Jigen is an Asuksi clan member, whatever they are, they're probably what you call like the elite Joni or the Anbu Black Ops that are assigned to the Hokage. Somebody like Urashiki is more so like a tuning or a low level Joni. He's out there in the field, he's active, and yet he's not high up on the tier list. And so that's kind of where I put him. And the reason why I also think that this could happen and why he could be more of a lone wolf Asuski or perhaps an Asuski who has a different role than the others is it makes a lot of sense. He would be more like a scout than anything else because that was the thing when Momoshiki and Kenshiki came to Earth, when they came looking, it was Urashiki who had all the detail. So I could see him being a scout for the Susi clan. He's not there because when you think about it from this perspective, this is a clan that operates much like a network, okay? And what I'm talking about with a network, I'm talking like, you know, like a uh, like in Dragon Ball with the Freezer Force where you had a scout who went out and scouted out planets and then they sent the Saiyajin, the Saiyans, to go through, destroy the planet, get it ready for sale. It would make a lot of sense if you had people like Kaguya and Momoshiki who went to these planets and harvested uh, the chakra, harvested the life force. How are they selecting these places? How are they saying this is a good place for it? People like Urashiki would have to go to these different planets and look, and it would make a lot of sense from that perspective. Now, the only other thing is, is when you look at those other two damaged murals, a lot of people are saying maybe there are people that Jigen could have killed, maybe there are people Kage could have killed. At this point, we don't know. At this, I think this is more of that whole thing that's going on with the sixth coffin. The uh, whole time in Naruto when that was running, people always wondered who was in the sixth coffin, and we had to just take the little tidbits that were dropped, and around chapter 500-ish, that's when people start saying, oh my god, I think Madaru Chia, the real Madaru Chia, is actually in the coffin. And so I think that it's the same thing here. I think we got to keep looking for breadcrumbs, but I think just based on what we've seen, I think we can eliminate Urashiki as being and Kage as partner but let me know what you guys think about the observation I made as far as with the top mural and the fact that each of the clan members who have come that we've seen one member has had the Rinnegan the other one hasn't how do you think that theory stacks up let me know down in the comment section below but as always guys if you like anything I have to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching have an awesome day guys